Hey guys, Salt Chrome here, and Zer is back in the tower next to the Crucible Quartermaster. This week his inventory is not that good, except for the Hunters. So yeah, for the Titans he has the Helm of Inmost Light. I main a Titan and I rarely use this helmet. Not because it's bad, but I just don't like the Death from Above perk on the Fist of Havoc. I can't utilize the perk as good as other people. I have a couple of friends that use the Striker Titan and they say they like the perk, so it's subjective. So I'd say if you like the perk then uh, go for it and buy the helmet. But if you are someone like me and uh, can't utilize that perk very good then I'd say just skip it. Up next we have the Celestial Nighthawk for the Hunters. This helmet gives a 6x damage buff to your golden gun, but the downside is that you can only shoot your golden gun once. This thing is a beast if you want to deal a great amount of damage to larger enemies. So uh, if you are a hunter and uh, you need a strong exotic, I'll definitely buy this. So for the warlocks we have the Apotheosis Veil or something like that. Sorry guys if I pronounced that wrong. And its main perk is uh, when you activate your super you start regenerating health. I think this is a uh, pretty solid exotic for a sun singer warlocks uh, who like to use a radiant skin. This helmet uh, in my opinion has great potential but uh, it is very situational. Just imagine you are a sun singer warlock and you are low on health and you are also surrounded by a lot of enemies in the crucible or in PvE. Uh, this helmet uh, might be very useful because you can activate your super, you will, one, you will regenerate your health and the second is that you are a tanky as hell with the radiant skin on. So yeah, like I said, it's a very good uh, helmet but it's very situational. And the weapon of the week is the No Land Beyond. In PvE this weapon sucks because it's a primary bolt action sniper rifle. Uh, this means that you need to reload after every shot, so uh, very low DPS. But I've seen people using it in the Crucible with great success. Uh, if you are a guy who likes sniper rifles, I'd say just buy it and try it in the Crucible. If not, just skip it. The exotic engram of the week is the chest. So as of this day, Zer is selling 3 heavy ammo packs for 1 strange coin instead of 5 heavy ammo packs for 1 strange coin. He's also selling the Emerald Coil and Plasma Drive to upgrade your rare quality sparrows to legendary ones. And he also sells uh, 1 Modes of Light for 2 Strange Coins. So yeah, this was it for this video guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and I'll see you guys on my next video.